call it high speed I've been working hard, yeah, I've been working nightly If you think you'll win, ha, nah, likely I be taking shots, yeah, cold-blooded, icy Watching numbers grow is what I call sightseeing In the front row, run it up when they hype me The following grows, they know how to ignite me Call me CEO, I've been running sh right, see And I ain't playing games, I create my own lane Making pleasure out of pain, uh Hi guys! Hello everyone! And welcome to another episode of Massey, Massey Art, Art Studios. Studios. I'm Jeremy. And I'm Lee. And today's episode we are going to be exploring hexagon canvases. Huh. Yes. I do not like normally things that are not square <laughs> or rectangular. I've only just gotten to not freak out about a circular canvas. And now yes. you're giving me hexagons? I am. What are you I trying am. to do to me? <laughs> so today we're going to be uh, working on the hexagon canvases. Okay. Um, the colors you're going to notice because we have used them before. We did. Yes, we did. Mm -hmm. And uh, they're beautiful colors. So it's going to be very interesting to see how they work on these canvases. I love it. Yeah. We yeah, really yeah. did enjoy those colors so yes. it's nice to use them yes. again and what technique are you doing i'm doing a ring pour actually oh. yeah i thought that would look really pretty on that canvas like have those lines yeah i so. think so too yeah what are you gonna do i'm gonna dutch pour oh really yeah considering we've got these colors left over i'm gonna thin them to a real thin consistency and try and dutch pour them. nice yeah. very nice i'm excited yeah. about this one yeah. thank you mina for leaving these canvases in the studio when you were here yes exactly so it's all your fault if you haven't already, please like and subscribe means the world to us. Should we take a quick commercial break? We should take a quick commercial break. Let's do that real quick. Are your flip cups more like flop cups? <laughs> Are your wrecked rings just, well, wrecked? <sighs> Well, well, we have the solution for you. for you, and that's the Fluid Art Experience. Here in Dallas, Texas, on November the 12th and November the 13th, you have the opportunity to be live and in person with one of your five favorite YouTube artists. Come learn some tips, techniques, and everything you need to know to replicate some beautiful art You'll be taking away art with you, and you also have the opportunity to come and join us at a Texan barbecue and a question and answer session. So why don't you go and log on right now at www.fluidartexperience.com and see what all the fun is about. We'll hopefully see you soon. Okay. All right, guys, you just saw it, the Fluid Art Experience. It's coming up. It's going to be awesome. So many great artists are going to be there. Um, it's a good little, you know, thing to come to if you want to just brush up on your techniques. And mm -hmm. if you haven't, like, even started, it would be a good experience to, to do that. Come and check Absolutely. it out. Absolutely. Um, so, well, let's get to painting. Let's do it. All right. We'll see you at the table. Hey guys, it is Jeremy here and I am excited about today's pour. I am too. And why is that? Because you don't know what size canvas you've got in front of you. <laughs> <laughs> it is a hexagon. It is a hexagon. Yes, it's a hexagon. It's, it's not. Size. It's not an octagon. There you go. Yes. <laughs> well done. So. A little, oh, a little off camera joke there, people. I know, I know, totally. Mm -hmm. yeah. So. I'm going to introduce you to my colors. Do it. And, yes. and you will have just seen these colors used, but we loved yes. them so much we wanted to use them again. Exactly. We had some left over, so we were like, why don't we just do another episode with these colors? Because Absolutely. it's so awesome. Yeah, we love them. So these colors are this Burnt Sienna by Master's Touch mixed with Arteza's Pearl Deep Brown, or I like to call it chocolate. Love it. Love that color. We have uh, Master Touch Thick Body Acrylic Turquoise Deep. Which I have mixed with some of the Golden's Turquoise Phalo. Yes. Um, we have Quinacridone Burnt Orange mixed with Fire Opal. Ooh. Love that mix. I do too. Um, we have Sky Blue Light by Amsterdam. Beautiful. We have Golden's Iridescent Pearl Fine. Thank we you. just have like a plethora of different, we do. different uh, colors colors and we have pearl copper gold which was mixed with the pbo gold <laughs> or the pbo pbo or the pebio or the pleblo right <laughs> whatever however you want to say it 
So when we used these colours last time, I did a paint grenade and you did a wandering straight, straight pour. pour. What yes. are you doing this time? Um, this time I'm doing just a ring pour. I love that, especially because it's on a, a hexagon. Uh, hexagon. Not, not an octagon. Hexagon. <laughs> I kept calling it an octagon and he was like, no, no, no. And I was like, yes, yes, yes. So this is take two because I didn't want the show pony to look <laughs> silly. So we allowed him to start all over again. <laughs> so on this hexagon mm -hmm. canvas, I'm going to be doing a ring pour. Okay. Let me get to layering my couch. Let's do it. Now it is only eight by eight, so gosh, it's probably going to need yeah. like five or six ounces of paint. I it's know. a big old cup for a very small amount of paint. I know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hmm. What's next after that gold? Okay. The quinacridone fire opal. Yes. I'm going to put this blue next to it. Wow, okay. Love it. Yeah. Paint all over. Those rubber gloves. Yes. Mm hmm. <laughs> Funny that. Funny that. Mm hmm When you're using paint and wearing rubber gloves. I stand paint on me at It's all. so crazy to me. <laughs> No, nothing. Is that? No, no, no. I think you've probably only gotten like another, you only probably need another couple of layers because you're going to lose everything in the bottom of that cup otherwise. Hmm. Okay. Because we probably needed about five or six ounces of paint and that cup holds 18. Okay, I'm done. Yeah? Yeah. I'm you done. sure? Yeah, I think so. All I just right. want to make sure I have enough paint. I think you got enough paint. Now, are you going to flood this one first, or are you going to ring and then flow extend? I'm going to flood this one first. Yeah? Okay. Yes. And this is a colour that you didn't talk about, but it is an amalgamation of quite a few. Yes. There is some of this wonderful Dazzling Metallics Peacock Pearl in there. Yes. And then there's also a mixture of probably two or three of the turquoises and the phalo blues and yeah. all sorts of stuff. Yeah, absolutely. All right guys, so I have my layered cup here. I'm gonna start my ring pour. Get a little bit better at that. Oh, it's stunning. Okay, everybody, you know what time it is. What time is it? It's tilting time. It's hexagon tilting time. Yes.
could only get better I need it more than ever They don't, don't How can I believe you When everything is secret, secret Everything is secret, secret For the new you, like I'm old news in your review mirror. It must be nice you went and got a penthouse. All your friends party and it's real loud. Brand new money with a brand new chest. Still a baby bird, fries straight off the nest like. Okay guys, I like this so much. It's a little dark and it's, it's moody. moody. It's very moody, but I'm liking it. I love the rings in here. Those rings just came out great. Um, so I am going to take you guys in for a close up. I'm gonna clean my edges and let you guys see what I'm talking about. Let's do it. Let's do this. All right, ladles and jelly spoons. Okay, so you might be surprised to see a hexagon or an octagon, whatever Jeremy thinks this is, in front of me. <laughs> because you know I don't normally love anything other than square or rectangular canvases, but I gotta say, Jeremy's ring pull on that octagon was stunning. Thank you. And these were actually left over from the Texas Sip and Pour. Mina Villegas bought these canvases. Yes. So um, I'm gonna use them and just see what happens. We're using leftover paints and I'm doing a Dutch pour. So I'm also a little scared because I've had to mix these consistencies to the Dutch pour consistency, but completely from I. I know what consistency it should be, so I think we're gonna be okay. But if I've got one off or, you know, one's too runny or one's too thick, then I'm screwed. But we'll see what happens. So, um, uh, Jeremy's already shown you the colors. This has been raised up with pins on the back. And I'm gonna flood this first with this really beautiful pearly. This is peacock, this is dazzling metallics. It's got some phalo in it. It's got a bit of everything in here. It's a Heinz 57 as we would call it in England. You can see the consistency on this canvas. It is nice and runny. Um, so I'm gonna get this all over this canvas. Let's do this first. All right, so there's my base coat down. I am a little worried that I don't have enough of the base coat on this canvas because we were using leftover paints um, and I didn't want to overwater it, but we're going to see what happens. Now, I'm just thinking about how I'm going to do my composition on this canvas. I'm gonna do something a little different, potentially. Um, I'm going to start off with the Quinacridone Fire Opal mix. Then let's go light. And a little darker. With some gold. 
and some white. Finishing off with some of the deep phalo. How are you going to blow that? You will see. Yeah. All right, so that's my colors layered and I've got Pinky with me today. It's my little dryer, blow hair dryer with a little nozzle on it. Um, I'm going to see how I'm going to, I've got an idea of how I'm going to blow this one out in my head, but we're going to see if it works on this little, it's an eight by eight inch hexagonal Ah, yeah, hexagonal canvas. I thought I got it wrong there as well. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's blow this one out. You got that something, baby, that I can go without, just like a poison in me. You're all that I'm about. Loving the highs, don't mind the lows. It's getting out of my control. I Something, baby, cause I can go without Mama used to tell me love ain't right if it ain't easy But I'm in too deep to walk away from you Papa used to tell me love should never drive you crazy But I lose my mind if you don't get here soon I'm addicted to your love, to your love, your love I'm never gonna get enough I'm a sucker for your love, for your love What do you think, folks? I actually like the way that the colours have moved on this one. Me too. I actually like the fact that, you know, most of my composition is on the bottom with some negative space up at the top. I wish I had some more white over in this section here, but um, I kind of love it. It kind of looks like flames coming up from the bottom of the canvas. What do you think, Showpony? I like it. Yeah? Mm -hmm. There's like a million ways that you could, you know, have this one. Yeah. Um, I feel like it's a little light on this side, but I actually don't, I don't want to, I don't think that I've got enough base coat color on this canvas to start playing with this one anymore. Yeah. Um, but if I, if I was to do anything, I would probably add a little bit of white over on this side. But to be honest with you, I kind of like the fact that it's got kind of light and dark sides to this. And it is only a small canvas. So um, I would probably hang it that way, to be honest with you. Hmm, what do you think, sir? I like it. I like it too. Yeah, I actually really like it and it's just started to sell. So um, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to grab the torch and torch this one off and then I'm gonna scrape around my edges and I'm gonna take you in for a close-up so you can see exactly what it is that I'm seeing. So, the show pony says no. <laughs> or he says do whatever you want but I've just layered some extra color down on this side of the canvas I don't normally like playing with the Dutch paws once I've blown it out because I think it has the opportunity to go terribly muddy but I really wanted to see what would happen if I layered some more of the bright colors here just to incorporate some of what's happening on this side because I really love this side so we're going to give this a go All right, so there's my take two, with just a little bit more color added. The base coat was definitely too thin in terms of volume. I didn't have enough on it, so these paints did not slip as much as they should have done, but that's my fault from just using kind of leftover colors. But I liked playing with this one, and I'm gonna leave it exactly as it is. All right, guys, I'm gonna take you in for a close-up. Thank you.
So there you have it. <laughs> Stealing my catchphrase again. Get your rope. <laughs> What, so did what, you, what did you think? I thought it came out what really great. Think? What did you think? Yes. What, what did you think? Um, I thought it came out really great. Uh, I loved the colors on that. I loved the lines that right. it gave. Um, I thought it was really cute in the corners, how it did these little like curves. Uh -huh, I like um, I really like that a lot. Why don't you show the people oh, that yes. home? Because you've got it in your hand. Absolutely. Right. Woohoo! Yes. You can go a little closer if you like. Yes, definitely. I um, I really do love this. I wasn't quite sure what a ring on a hexagonal canvas was going to look like, but I thought it looked really great. Yeah, and I love these little details right here, oh, and I corner. love this center right here. You did a it's really good wonderful. job of layering this cup. Thank you. Yeah, there were some really great moments in there, and, and you managed to keep a really beautiful, fun center. Well, thank you. Yeah, I thought this was really cute, and I didn't hate that it was on a hexagon. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, serious. Yeah. And what about yours? So I had a couple of challenges. Um, first off, when I watched what I was doing back again, which is one of the beauties of filming these episodes, I noticed that I was definitely laying heavy on one side and not on the other. Uh, and I definitely did not have enough base coat on this one. One thing I like about these hexagonal canvases is there's like so many ways in which oh, you, can, you can display them. But this is my Dutch pour. I love the negative space on it. If there were more, more base coat, it would have definitely just kind of like integrated and flowed more. But I really, really loved the colors on this one. It's got the gloss varnish in, so it's got a beautiful shine. Yes. And I'm so happy that I added that extra pop of colors because it really just helped me kind of bring the composition together and lighten up some of the areas that were a little dark. So yeah, I really enjoyed this one. Um, and it, they both dried really, really well. Look at that varnish on them, I love it. <laughs> it's so shiny. And I love this, like, base coat. Oh yeah, that, that base coat's did. gorgeous. Yeah, it was really pretty. Yeah. So, I'm glad you liked yours, because I like mine too. Thank you, thank mm -hmm. you. We'll be doing hexagonal canvases in a hurry, but I did enjoy it whilst it lasted. <laughs> Well, all right, guys, I can't wait to read the comments that you're going to send. Um, and thank you, everybody, for being here on us with this premiere. Awesome. Yes, amazing. Please don't forget to check out fluidartexperience.com. There are yes. still tickets available. They are selling like hot, hot, hot cakes, but please go and have a look. Yes. Um, we would love you to come and join us. We have spots left in every single class, every single day. Yeah. Although there are seats taken, there are still spots. Um, so come and learn things like the flip cup, the paint grenade, um, come and learn a wrecked ring, ring pours, a dustpan. So there's plenty of stuff to come and actually be with the Matty yeah. boys. We promise to have a lot of fun um, and it'll be, uh, it'll be very educational too. Yes, mm -hmm. absolutely. Yeah. So, well, thank you guys. And no, we, thank you. Thank you. Uh -huh. And we will see you next time. Excellent. We'll see you very soon. See you on Friday. Bye guys. Bye. So we want to take a moment to spec Spank. <laughs> Spanks are very special. <laughs> we want to take a moment to thank some very special people. Absolutely. And that's our Patreons. Patreons. So the Patreon account is a very separate account from YouTube, mm -hmm. but it allows some very important people the opportunity to get a little bit of a closer look of the studio. And there are certain levels. So at one level, for example, you get to see sneak peeks and behind the scenes videos. Mm -hmm. At another level, you're invited to join us in a WhatsApp group where we chat, we exchange pictures, and you also get weekly painting challenges. In another level, you get um, once a month live streams. At another level, you get once a month tutorials that are live. Yes. And then at our top tier, the diamond level, you would get to pick the colors and the technique for an episode of Massey Art Studios. Mm -hmm. And then you get to keep one of the 11 by 14 inch canvases every single month. And so, with a change of venue... What? I know. <laughs> we've got some very special people that we have to thank. Yes. And that is our gold Massey Posse. That's Trisha West, Jane Klein, Stephanie Hancock, Donna Patterson, Terry Leshner, Gloria Salaki, it's Nate Bright, it's Linda Serien, Crafty Chicken Mom, it's Rebecca Hawes Winters, Patsy Petrilli, it's Tammy Houdsbrook, it's Kelly Stowell, 
and it's Gillian Barnett. Now with the platinum level, it's Leslie Beaver, Janice and Steve Pittman, Donna Panis, Dana Foxley, Elaine Burton, Susan Shepperson, and Robin Koza. And you all know her, we all love her. At the diamond <laughs> level, there's only one person, yes. and that is Sparkles. Sparkles. So to you guys and to everyone else that, whose names that you'll see here listed below, thank you so very much. We yes. absolutely love that you're here with us on this journey, and we're gonna keep pouring. Yes. Thank you guys. Bye guys.